Brother Henry, you're here. Wow, thank you for coming. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. <laughs> Let me raise my chair. Oops. gonna be on live for long because it's not easy. I wake up I was even rushed. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna sit down my lip gloss, lipstick. Okay, I'm okay. I think I'm okay with that. Let's see. I have my mic. You guys can hear me, right? Can everyone hear me? So, what's up, everyone? <sighs> I almost didn't go live today, but I'm glad I did because I was so tired when I came home from work. Um, I don't know if you guys hear any background noise. It's my husband is eating dinner. He just got home. He's having his, you know, dinner and um, listening to his YouTube stuff. I guess on YouTube. So just excuse that noise. I'm trying, I'm gonna put on my lip gloss, even though I have food here to eat too. So, because I'm not gonna stay long live, I just wanna try to do a, like maybe an hour, an hour, maybe an hour and a half, no longer than that. I really don't wanna stress myself and I also have to get up early for work in the morning. Um, I decided to talk about, to have us talk about niche and you know, what it is, what you guys think it is. Um, I mean, I watched so many videos about what niche is or what niche is, what niche is, what is niche pretty much. Like that word itself is around so, so odd to me. And, um, I don't know why, wait, let me turn on my, my chaps, a second. Okay. All right, so I can see you guys' chats come on in. I had to turn it on. All right. Hi, Shirley Ann. Let me welcome everyone. Fake Ma Martins, thank you for coming. Welcome. Mr. Henry, thank you for coming. Miss Gladys, thank you for stopping by the Yo Yo Diet Show. Hi, 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 everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. I hope we all learn something today or pick something up that we, you know, learn something pretty much. Um, Glory Family, hello, Mama. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I was trying to talk about niche. And before we talk about niche, let me just show you in case you start seeing me eating. This is my dinner and I'm about to eat it. And I made this as soon as I got home today from work. I made the jollof rice, plantain and the chicken, all of it this evening. And I'm starving. So I figured, let me just get all these food things together. I even made stew as well. So at least I was able to get all that done and get my son in bed before 9 p.m. or at least by 9 p.m. so that I can go live streaming today. And I'm able to do that. I'm so glad and thankful that I have the opportunity to do that. But let's get into it. Anyone know what niche is? If you know what a niche is or what you understand about what niche is, 
please let's hear what you guys what what's your understanding of what it is about what niche is because for me when i first even heard that word i'm like uh what what the heck is that <laughs> niche so i'm gonna google it as well to try to just understand what is it is it even pronounced correctly niche i hear a lot of people say niche but is it niche we can always ask google too anyway um it's something that you're going to focus on your channel a topic that you focus on something that was sent around set around your channel okay that makes that's exactly the um definition hi monique sika hi mama thank you for coming thank you so much appreciate you oh man so i have to be honest with you guys this is not for me to teach anyone anything i myself don't know any i don't think i know anything but i don't know everything either um and the reason why i actually wanted to come on live was not only to talk about you know what we think um niche is a topic that's centered around our channel like yo yo diet is saying thank you so much for explaining that a description of what our channel is about yeah um but honestly what i do you have to be good at what that what your channel is about like what you're trying to teach or share on your channel do you have to be like an expert at it that's another question because you can have a niche but like it could be an interest as opposed to you having an expertise in it and being able to teach someone about whatever that topic is centered around like for example maybe um for me i would say makeup i'm not an expert or a professional but i know makeup and well i know enough for me like for my own particular self right but i probably i mean i'm not a makeup professional or a makeup artist and those that are makeup artists i'm pretty sure they're still learning you know in their niche or in their profession so when we're talking about you know a topic that's centered around our channel i mean can you can you like not how do i put it what if you're not what if even if you are good at it but you're it's not really something you're interested in i don't know if that makes sense but like that's my that's one thing that i've had an issue with lately i've been trying to um narrow down a niche but i feel like i have several things that i would consider are niches that i actually enjoy doing and would like to um share on my channel i mean and another thing is i guess it doesn't have to be centered only around one thing it could be centered around a couple of things but then how do we juggle all those things could you be good at lifestyle fashion and makeup and um what do you call it like the people that are good at talking i feel like i'm not really good at all that chit chat talking people that are good at ranting people that are good at reaction videos people that are good at um throwing shades i guess i don't know why that's a niche but that's weird you're not sure really i find some niche channels boring thank you that's why i feel like even if you focus on one thing gladys like you could focus on just is this one channel that was work okay like this tech channel um there's there are thousands of tech channels out there right but like um there's some tech channels that are smart enough to maybe um make put a little bit of variety of of um topics like maybe vlogging their personal life adding a little bit of that or they will add like some type of inform just something so to totally different you know you can be okay so, uh your your diet says you can be just blogging your journey with that particular topic my niche is the how-to tools of youtube but i'm not an expert i let my audience know that as i learn to teach it's my youtube journey okay I don't think you have to be a professional in your niche. I have a degree in accounting, but I don't want to do YouTube on it. Yeah, because to me, if you if if you were teaching accounting, it'll probably be boring for me. 
I think you have, okay, that Shirley Ann said that. So uh, Gladys says, I think you have to vary from time to time. Topic can be related, but very deliver very delivery style. That's true. That is true. For example, several different beauty channels. Like, you know, you can have a Jackie I Know channel, and you can have a Yuki channel, and then you can have like, um, who else is that? Oh yeah, like Ronke Raji and all these other bigger um, makeup channel. And I, if you think about it, they all have on the same niche, I guess, which is beauty makeup, but. Each one of them have a slight different, something different. And that that's a good thing, you know. So do you think, in my own opinion, I feel like niches can be saturated too. To the point that um, someone like me, if I wanted to start or if I wanted to do something focused on just beauty and makeup, um, I might not get seen because it's already oversaturated. You know, even if I try to revamp it and remake it you can only remake makeup or you know tutorials or routines and things like that for so many times you really can and i think the niches could probably not be a, i don't think we should i feel like the youtube people or the youtube world tend to um put so much pressure on niche because i feel like it sort of throws a new beginner or a, a first timer or someone that's starting off off balance like and put a lot of pressure on someone like myself like okay if I have to have niche then I have to do this and do this no and I remember um, Lily saying something about if you're not yourself um, people can tell and they can they can see that obviously through the lens but sorry my son's monitor is here so I have to keep an eye on him while he's sleeping he just made a noise sorry okay he's good but, you know, like, I feel like, you know, what, what I was trying to say was that I feel like when we, me as a beginner, um, seeing all this saturated um, niches out there and trying to be myself and also still be seen um, can be a little tough and challenging. It really can. I try my best to just, I mean, I'm always myself, yeah, but I feel like... As a beginner, there's no, I don't know any beginner who can, who, who would say they were not nervous or didn't feel um, a little bit of pressure at, at the beginning of their uh, journey. Um, like you were saying, your yo diet, you know, it's a journey. You're learning as you go. But I've had this, tro I have, I've had this um, struggle actually since I started with like focusing on just one niche i feel like i, I want to do several I mean, honestly but maybe not um shove it down the audience's throats because i've i've seen a couple of videos who try which they try to give um advices on like oh maybe you should try different things at the beginning which honestly next month will be my one year anniversary of starting youtube and i think i've tried what i feel comfortable that i i'm able to do which is like in vlogging you know youtube tips um i guess talk talking even live streaming and makeup as usual i mean like i already mentioned so i still feel kind of lost no lie i still do not necessarily lost but i feel like i still have i'm struggling with narrowing it down and kind of maybe focusing on it maybe i shouldn't maybe i should just do i should just keep doing what i'm doing who knows um or what i feel comfortable doing i don't know because what i what i've heard um other big youtubers say is that oh you have to listen to your audience and but your audience i mean they may want something but then when you give it to them the views is what's going to tell you if they actually really want that thing what do you guys think about that that's why i try to hit natural hair and makeup and vlogging because if you don't run if you don't you run out of material and content yes shelly you're right about that you're right about that uh, yeah don't limit yourself that's all that i can tell you monique yeah i think it's also a personality thing monique like i i honestly sometimes tell myself i wish i can have that type of 
I don't, not necessarily I don't care. I really don't care, but like there's this refinement about me that I feel like is holding me back. I'm not just a niche person. Even in real life, some people come with a variety of skills that they would love to showcase. That is absolutely true. Even there are some skills that you even developed that you didn't know you had just by accident. Like for me, this whole YouTube thing, I never, I mean, I, it, maybe it was somewhere in the back of my mind, but it never really came to fruition until maybe I said, let me, you know, go for it. You're right. Don't limit yourself, Monique. You're so right. Because when I see some of your videos, Monique, and I'm, you know, I see how, um, it's like you, you have it well thought out. I wonder if you, if you rehearse your videos before you do it, or does it just come out you know because for me I have to sort of rehearse judge late the judge she's a judge she's an interior decorator and she's a musician mm, that's amazing that's amazing Gladys says judge late she's a paternity court lady yeah wow that's amazing see don't limit yourself that's good to know I'm so glad you guys are here to share all this um, encouraging and really helpful um, information. Damn, and you hit it right away. That, that's good. That's good. I, I, and I also think, like I was saying earlier, I think it could be a personality thing too because um, maybe not necessarily personality or maybe it's more like when we push, for me I would say I put pressure on myself a bit too much that um it could be limiting you know an idea will pop in my head and then i start over over analyzing that's the problem over analyzing and start analyzing this one there's this idea that comes and you start saying okay if i do it this way and what if this then and what if that and what if that and then eventually it just it fizzles out and you're like it's like you know you just overanalyze it and then you discourage yourself out of it or you encourage yourself into it like today this streaming <laughs> i've overanalyzed my overanalyzed it so many times within myself that um i'm gonna stream and then i'm like i'm so tired but i have to cook and i have to do this and i have to do that and da, 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 da. but i am so glad i get i did not give in to all that you know all that talk so i know we're supposed to talk about niche but this whole live stream is going to go to a whole different level. I don't know, but it is what it is. <laughs> yes, I I won't lie. I am very hard on myself. And I think it's like it's it's a complex, a perfectionist complex or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I know. I, I totally get that. I think my, my mascara, something is in my, it's went into my eye or my, the hair on my eyelid, oof, went into my eye. I hope we're not going to have an issue. But like, so now, um, I feel like I like vlogging. I do. I really do like vlogging. So I'm definitely, I was going to actually not. I was going to stop vlogging, but I decided I'm not going to stop vlogging. I really like the vlogging part of my niche. <laughs> um, but I don't know if it's that's a niche, but everyone vlogs. No matter how big they are, there's some sort of vlog that most people want to um, incorporate into their channel. So yeah, I like vlogging and I love makeup. And I'm actually, like I, when I started doing all this YouTube tips thing, I never even thought that my whole channel would um, go that route at all, at all, because I mean, I'm learning a whole lot of things about um, the tips and what I've, um, all the um, tutorials I've watched or articles that I may have read here and there. And it's not like someone was mentioning earlier, you don't have to be an expert in it. Something I've learned that I just share. So in that sense, I wouldn't call that a niche. It was just something I stumbled upon and I have the opportunity to record and share because I have a feeling that 
I wouldn't probably be like giving so many what do you call it um like YouTube tips after I've shared all the knowledge that I that I know of anyways regarding YouTube tips or maybe camera recording um things like that <clears throat> Yeah, so whew, I need to eat. My jollof rice is getting cold. I'm so proud of myself I cooked today. <laughs> well, I cook all the time, but like I've been wanting to make jollof rice for like almost a week and a half now. Mmm, it's good. Mmm. So, um, oh, excuse me, food went through the room. <clears throat> okay. Actually, when I looked up on Google, Google says that a niche is also, um, Um, <laughs> yes, that jollof rice, I would love to make you some if you, I mean, you're in Texas, right? You know what? Um, I'll come back to niche. Let me tell you something, Shirley. I have my, I have, my cousin lives in Texas. I don't know which, oh, you're in Florida. Yes, I have a cousin in Florida too. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure you can find one of those Nigerian or African restaurants out there. Just ask around. If you know any Nigerians, ask around. You will um, you find someone that will make you jollof rice. Tell me you have to make some jollof for Shelly. I don't mind. I'll make it. But I mean, you have to either come over here or from around there. Then <laughs> I don't mind making it. Not a problem. <laughs> I'll probably prefer to make it in my own kitchen because there's like tricks and not tricks but like you know how you have that old pot and if you use a different pot it doesn't come out the right same way or the right way you got if i'm gonna come over there and make it i might have to pack my pot with me <laughs> i may have to carry my pot and bring it with me so that it can taste the same way every time <laughs> god is do you know what i'm trying to say do you understand what i'm trying to say like you it's like you gotta make that jollof in that same pot if you use a different pot, it's not going to come out right. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but yes, Charlie, I will make it your love. Either you come over here and eat it, or I'll bring my pot with me. <laughs> and also, what I was even thinking about, like what I was trying to say regarding niche, um, what Google had said, it says something about a topic that's around, that is um, set around, let me see, okay, an interest that appeals to a small population. Um, small population, that's like, you know how fam, um, YouTubers have like, you know, their squad or their tribes and stuff like that. I guess a small population is better than none. So, hi, Mo Natural. Hello, welcome. We're talking about niches. What's your niche? Or what do you think? What What's your definition of a niche? And um, how do you know what your niche is? And is it just one specific thing, or is it several things? For me, I feel like I have maybe four types, four different um, interests or topics of niches that I try to share on my channel. Did you have any struggles with um, narrowing down what your what you want your niche to be about your channel? More natural. Let me have another bite. This jollof is good. Mm. 
Okay. That's exactly, that's, I mean, Gladys was talking about how um, being, having like a niche is, could be boring, which is very true. It could be boring because, I mean, you, you can probably make a lot of different um, variety of topic around that niche, but at some point you would, you most likely run out of ideas. But when someone says to you, more natural, when one, someone says to you, um, you need to do what your audience are asking. What if your audience is asking you something you don't like, like, or you're not even familiar with, or you're not interested in? Would you offer that to your, um, to your audience? I would like to go under plant-based vegan, but I do like doing my hair. That's good. <clears throat> so if since you're on the, let's say you are. You, let's say you're giving um, your audience um, plant-based, vegan, and doing your hair. And then someone says, oh, I like the makeup you're wearing, or I like the way your, your makeup looks, or you have this natural look. Can you give us a tutorial or a routine on how you do it? Let's say your, your channel is focused on just this vegan, plant-based food and doing hair. Would you offer that as a... Or would you start that as a niche, or would you just do that one video and then just so you can satisfy your audience? Okay. Cool, cool. All right. Um, deliberately chosen to be broad so that I can explore the entire diaspora lifestyle and how to videos. Mm hmm. Excuse me. My channel name is deliberately chosen to be broad so that I can explore the entire diaspora lifestyle and how to videos. Okay, that's good. The, um, Gladys says that. Okay, and then Shirley says, I like to see different things on people's channels. Same here, same here. Um, because I won't lie, I've been to some channels and for sure, there's no, like, how do I put it? Um, I don't want to call names because honestly, they're big people. And I just honestly just watch their videos because I just want to support them. At some point, I don't even enjoy them. I, I literally just play it and go and leave just so I, I can give them watch time. And these are like people with over probably... 500,000 subscribers but to me all the videos they've been creating is the same topic I mean not same topic under the same umbrella of let's say beauty or let's say um, how to do YouTube better or be a better content creator or like learn about your Canon camera like or for example Final Cut Pro software. Like I, I went to one channel, they're like over 100K subscribers and the whole thing is on Final Cut Pro. I literally fell asleep one time just trying to learn a specific, I don't know, just something on Final Cut, a specific topic regarding Final Cut. I mean, I get that, it's totally helpful. I mean, obviously I wouldn't learn how to edit and do all these little things that I'm doing on my channel without those channels, I mean, those videos, but no lie, there are times where I, I don't even want to go there anymore because I'm so tired of watching almost the same similar concept over and over. Like, I actually look for the same topic, but from a different content creator that presents it in a different way, maybe more entertaining, I guess, as opposed to very like you're in a lecture room or something. This is one a particular, this is just on a particular topic that I'm, I'm talking about. So like you, like you mentioned, I like to see, you like to see different um, things. Um, Shirley says that. And more natural says, I think it's more fun. You show different things. I do believe the same thing. Like, and that's kind of, yeah, those, they do that for a living. Yeah, you could tell because it honestly feels like I'm in school when I'm when I was learning those things, which I still do sometimes. Um, I would sit when I'd be watching tutorials on my laptop and probably following along 
as I'm learning, you know, effects and um, cinematic, all these things, um, cinematic, cinematic uh, color grading, all that stuff, pretty much, and lighting. Oh my gosh, those were some really brutal times. <laughs> but now it's stuck in my head, and I mean, I could go back for refresher, but they were very, very boring. But it wasn't boring at the time because I was willing to learn. So I was open to it. So I wasn't bored. I was just, you know, after a while, I guess when you hear the same thing over and over, it starts getting a bit boring. <clears throat> so... What do you guys think about long videos, like video, um, 20 minute video, 30 minute video? We have a math channel and that is only for math and being a math teacher, it is for students who wants to learn math. So a niche there is understandable. Yeah, I remember taking a class <laughs> it's, uh, for SPSS. Oh my God, Shay. And we had to watch YouTube channels or YouTube, the teacher, um, literally she has a youtube channel and it was it was to literally just watch her talk about spss and it was really brutal i think those are the types of niches that i i probably wouldn't um subscribe to but if i need to watch it and learn it i will but i was saying as far as like length of videos have you guys um had any how do i put it like not in your own niche, but like when you watch videos that are 30 minutes long or 20 minutes long or 10 minutes long. What are, what's your limit for you? Like, what do you feel like you can sit to do? Like literally do willingly, be intentionally in, um, interested in the video, um, engage into it, actually listening so you can actually make a comment. What's your attention span, let's put it that way, or your retention span to sit in front of a video, whether it's, um, whether it's entertaining or for learning purposes, what do you think is your um, time limit like? Because you have to be realistic. You're, some of us are mothers, some of us are parents. I mean, we're all parents or whatnot. We also have, aside from YouTube, we have things that we need to do. What do you guys feel about videos? If you had a favorite YouTuber and their YouTube videos are over 30 minutes long. You really like this person, but sometimes you feel like the video is a little too long because they're, not, they're wasting too much time in between certain things. And I think this would, we'll not talk, we'll go into editing after this part of our discussion. So, long videos are a thing as well on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's what Gladys says. Mo Natural says, if a video is going to be long, as long as you're doing something to keep me entertained, I don't mind. Okay, YouTube has, uh, that's from Mo Natural. And Gladys says, YouTube has a whole thing on long videos. As for the influx of television being used to watch videos, they say sit back and watch. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like for you know all these movies and um, TV shows that are now being incorporated or kind of migrated into YouTube, you can all sit down and watch Bad Boys One now on YouTube. You just have to pay a fee or whatever, and you're good to go. But like, I guess the way I'm trying to ask it is that, like for example, if you have a favorite YouTuber that you like to watch, not movie maker, not celebrity celebrity, like not Will Smith type of thing, or, but more like all these celebrity, not celebrity, um, these YouTubers, you know? I feel like, I think in 2019 into this year, I feel like my favorite YouTubers that I've, wa that I've been watching, just uh, maybe just in the last year though, even though they've been consistently um offering or off uploading videos and they've been consistent with like maybe 30 minute videos let's just say 30 minutes right i've honestly not been enjoying it longer than 15 to 20 minutes like after that i honestly just get up either i wouldn't watch the rest i mean i would let it play 
but I'm like, okay, I'm done because it's like a bit redundant in a way after a while. Or is it just me? Extra step CEO. Hello, 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 welcome. We're talking about niches. What are your niches? And we have not, you know, gone into something else, but you can see the, the titles talking about niches, and now we're talking about long videos. All right, Shirley says, okay, more natural says, I can do 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And then Shirley says, but they have, they have keep they have to keep my attention because sometimes a three minute video seems like 30 minutes very true very true very true and you're so right like I yeah I've seen a couple of videos four minutes alone actually before I even did this um, live or started this live <laughs> you can perceive my aroma you want some can you see my rice my, my little plantain and chicken and rice <laughs> it's so good i need to eat it but um yeah skipping the like, irrelevant pieces yeah but like the three i was what like i was saying i was watching like a haul oh clothing haul oh my god it was four minutes long but i felt like it was 20 minutes long no lie and i was like why is this taking so long to finish I would look, I would look away, do something, and then I'm looking, I'm like, whoa, the red bar is still like, not even halfway. What's taking so long? Get to the point. <laughs> well, um, Extra Step CEO, we're now at the length of, yes, you're right, we're now about length of videos. How long can you take, like, from your favorite YouTubers? Not just anyone you're trying to support, like, someone you'd like. You know, you just for sure you can, you're gonna support no matter what. Like, how uh, do you feel like your favorite YouTubers are kind of falling off or becoming redundant, or are they? Um, are you able to literally still sit there and watch their videos? If your favorite YouTuber makes videos like 30 minutes long, are you still able to sit there for that 30 minutes video and actually enjoy it, or do you feel like even you know this is my favorite YouTuber, and I'm just gonna watch? 15 minutes okay 15 minutes is usually about same for me um but like i was saying i was watching a four minute video and it literally felt like 20 minutes and this was today before i even did my i was trying to get myself ready and i'm like usually when a video is good i guess i i guess that's where we're trying to get to when a video is good you wouldn't probably pay too much attention to how long it's taking and i've noticed that with new new youtubers and also yeah and it also depends on what interests you you're right but in in regards to that question i mean that statement regardless if this is like um what's the, those guys name you know your like one of your the youtubers you follow that you you know you like you know and let's say that one time they uploaded something that's a bit boring Sometimes I, um, Extra Step CEO says, sometimes I just keep dragging and now that I'm a creator, that's what I'm trying to work on. Yeah. Yes. I, I, no lie, I would, if I'm not like, I still, I watch everyone, you know, even if it's dragging, I'll just walk away. I'll just let it play so that that part can like move along. And then when I hear something that piques my interest, I come back to look at what it is. But honestly, whew. honestly, yeah, we do. True, I know I've uploaded sub several boring videos. <laughs> Probably my last video is boring. Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> Which one? Who's ads? ADs too seems so long lately. Mm. All uh, Gladys says all YouTubers upload boring stuff sometimes. Honestly, do you know why I think we upload some boring stuff sometimes, time to time? No lie, you guys gotta be real. Have you recorded something and you felt like you spent money or time making that video? It's gonna get uploaded, whether they like it or not because you feel like you don't want to waste your time that you've used 
to record that video. How many of you feel that same way? Because I've felt that way, like, I, man, I can't believe I went out or I took my time to record this whole thing and I've edited it and it cannot be any more interesting than this. And, but F it, I'm uploading that ish, right? I'm, I don't care. <laughs> like F that, I'm uploading it. Whether y'all like it or not, I'm gonna upload this month. <laughs> I felt that way so many times, but I'm like, that's why I probably have quite a few boring <laughs> videos because I'm like, I'm not about to, I broke my back to record that damn plantain video. <laughs> Even though it's one minute and something seconds long, I'm like, no. I took a Saturday out just to make a whole bunch of videos. I, it's going up. It's going up. And I mean, I get a lot of views on it, but people going to watch it. Some, of, some people will. <laughs> oh. Yes, I've been in that situation uh, more natural. Um... Yeah, I just wanted to put something out to be consistent, and I'm like, bro, I'm just, this is going up, and it's going to be up. Those that want, like it, will watch it, and those that don't, oh well. <laughs> but now, I've been trying my best to take my time and actually, um, you know, try my, try my best to create something useful and at least entertaining, if possible. Um, yeah. Thanks, Gladys. My 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 fried plantain video. <laughs> Man, that video. I don't even know. I recorded it so many months, many months before I even uploaded it. And I was just like, it's just sitting in my hard drive. Like, nah, this is going up. I still have a couple of other videos though, but I'm not gonna upload those because mm -mm. <laughs> quality over quantity for me. Yes, ma'am, Miss Gladys. Hi, Sister Glory. I don't know if you are live right now, but I'm not going to stay live long because I do have to get up very, very early in the morning for work. So I'm only going to be um, streaming for an hour. And um, if you are if you are um, going back on live, because I know you're a grinder, <laughs> you know, um, I'll, ch I'll check in probably for a few minutes, but I'm going to be going to sleep. But thanks for stopping in and checking in. Please give my, vi my um, this video a thumbs up, please. And also, um, I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. I'm a bit tired, but I'm doing good. Someone was asking about how to, um, you know how you embed videos within a video? Like right now you guys are seeing me and then let's say we're popping a video, right? Um, someone was asking me how to make that or how to how they can do that. And... I can only explain it this way, depending on the type of, I mean, it doesn't really matter what editing software you use, if you're using an editing software on your computer or on a phone, the, what matters is that if that software will allow you to like have layers, um, I don't know what they call it, because like I said, I'm not a techie person, but like when you're editing, you know how you put your, upload your video and then it's like in a line and then you want to add letters and words and stuff the way to add a video in your video is when you're editing this is your main video let's say you put some words and letters or whatever or pictures then if you want to add an extra video within that video you have to put it right on top of the line or whatever the editing line it, it goes on top of where you want it to be. Now, it's that video that's on top, right, will most likely cover your main video. The way to either shrink it or make it small is to go to the scaling section of your software, whatever you know software you use to edit with. They all have it. I don't know what you want to, what they're called, but you, they would call it, it's like a, it's a scale. It's like a hundred percent or, you know, it would show it usually on the side somewhere where you can reduce the scaling of that particular video, the, the, the top one that you want to show on the side of your video, right? Once you reduce it, it will be playing along with your main video. I know that's not the best way to explain.
to maybe not explain it but to show you how to do it I have to, it has to be maybe for me to do a one of those screen video thing where I would um, be explaining or doing a voiceover for you but that's the gist of it you pretty much just lay the video on top of your main and then shrink it and then place it wherever you want to place it on your main video that's how you that's how you do like re reaction videos or I tried a something video or whatever. You do that um, in your editing, when you're editing. Um, okay. Gladys says, what editing software do you use? I use Final Cut Pro X, the, the um, updated one, the most updated one now, because they just had an update in December, I believe. Um, yes, it's like adding layers, basically, it is. And then... Once you add them, you can add so many things, but it's just about shrinking and then placing them wherever you want on your screen. Same thing with pictures, words, or letters, and videos. It's all about, you can place them all up in layers, but your main one will always be the bottom so that you can have them layered. And then when you're actually looking at it on the screen, like me, as you're seeing me now, you, have, you can have like name, um, words, picture, or video, whatever you want. That's really it. Um, yes, I use Final Cut Pro, and I'm still even learning about that. Yeah. What about uploading? Do you guys have certain days and how many how many a week? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, Miss Shirley Ann. I try my best to try to upload at least on Thursdays either on Thursdays or on a weekend. Doesn't matter what day on a weekend, but on a Thursday. Right now, Miss Glory, it's uh, 10.52 p.m. My time. And then, um, Mo Natural says, yeah, and it allow you to cut and mute one or both video. Yes, it would allow you to cut, mute, reduce. What I would suggest is you don't even have to mute. You will, you can, Usually, they would allow you to um, detach. It's called a detach audio. So it would completely delete that audio, but the, the video will be there. You could do that. So that way, you don't have to um, worry about the video playing at the same time. Um, Gladys, I'm, uh, I'm all over the place with uploading. Oh, okay, yeah, Shirley says, I mean, Gladys says I'm all over the place with uploading. Um, Extra Step CEO says I try to upload on Thursdays and weekends too. Yes, because so far that's what's kind of worked for me as far as um, my schedule. I work on Sunday to Thursday, so I try to upload on my days off. I want to do better and get a schedule though. Yes, me too here. Oh, Miss Gladys, you're so, it's so early. You guys are so, oh, thank you so much for being up this, this time. Ah, I appreciate you all. Uh, uh, thank you so much for um for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys. And I think I'm coming down with a cold because I've been sneezing a lot. I've been sneezing a lot. So yeah, my son actually just is getting over a cold. He got it from daycare, so now I'm getting it a bit. Excuse me. <clears throat> but um yeah, my uploading is not been consistent, but. I just try to at least upload at least once a week. It, it could be Wednesday sometimes, it could be, but my goal was to, when I started, I was consistent at first, it was every Thursday thing, and then it fell off, but I kept uploading weekly, one way or the other, is it Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, whatever, but I try to do it weekly. But my goal is to try to be consistent at least every Thursday or on a weekend, um, once a week. <laughs> I have this box of, um, what's it called, Milani Keep It Smooth Lip Lux Treatment. I was trying to do a video on this on Tuesday evening. I said, nah, I'm tired. Anyways, this thing costs $10.39, but I paid $2 for it. Let me see. This, I, I, I don't know what, oh, I went to go pick up a prescription at Walmart. Not Walmart, at Walgreens. Yeah, ten dollars and forty nine cents, and I paid two dollars sixty nine cents for it. 
Thank you, Miss Gladys. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you learned something. I appreciate it. We're about 10 minutes in and we'll be done with the live stream. I really appreciate everyone. If you can stay till 10, 10 more minutes, I'll be appreciate it so we can be done for the one hour and then I go to bed. But yeah, um, this thing, let me just tell you about, if you guys like lip glosses, not actually not lip glosses, like something for your to moisturize your lips with. About two years ago, I don't know how I, my, how I got it, but I got it. It's the Milani Keep It Smooth Lux Lip Treatment. It's expensive, but you won't believe I bought two, I bought this today for two, was it today or yesterday? Yesterday for $2.69. The original price is $10.49. This is the best lip moisturizer I've ever had used in my life. I mean, there's, as I, as I, and I'm saying this as a drugstore lip moisturizer. I've tried those EOS ones and all those um, chapsticks and even Vaseline, but this is the best. But I told myself I would not pay ten dollars for it. I will not. I would not. I would not pay ten dollars for it. But it's worth it if you have ten dollars for it. But I wouldn't pay. Every time I bought it, I had to wait for it to be on sale. But it's the Milani Lip Lux, um, Lux their yeah, Lux Lip Treatment. I love it. I've been using it since I got it, and it's. It's amazing. Anyways, excuse me. Also, a quick question for those that want to go live streaming, right? Or like Miss Shirley Ann. Will you consider going live streaming if you um, maybe could, if you could? Because I know some people, even for me, before I decided to go live streaming, I honestly, I was just nervous, like, I don't want it to mess up my channel, like the look of my channel, and what my channel is about, you know? But honestly, when I look at it and I visit my channel, you know, using my maybe someone else's account or whatever to see how my channel would look, it really didn't look that bad because it literally just separates. You just ha you can actually separate your playlist away from all your other uploads and anyone that's new that comes to your channel, right? Doesn't they don't even have to pay attention to your playlist if you don't want them to see that. It's about rearranging it, I think. Um, it's just something you have to do to climb the ladder. Excuse me. <coughs> yes, yes. Um, it is something that you do to climb the ladder. But I feel like even after I've gotten to the top, I have, I have a feeling that I will still prefer to continue doing live streaming. You know why? Because I feel like a maybe a little bit less pressure to, um, be like for me though, I'm talking about for me, because for me, before I record a video, I have to like, um, like script it sometimes or write down things and make sure what I'm saying makes you know sense, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like it's more pressure for me so I have a feeling that even if I reach my 4K watch time and all that stuff, I'm most likely going to continue doing live streaming because the quality is still just as good and there's a bit less pressure and you're just sort of relaxed and just you, your people are there, whether they're your people or new people are there. You know what I mean? Um, because man, I'm looking at it now and from what I was saying, like when I visited my own channel as a visitor, it doesn't look like bad as far as, oh, you got all these videos of playlists. No, it's, ne it's not that necessary. It's not like that actually. You can actually categorize it by removing all your playlists away from the front line, I guess, if you want to put it that way, 
and kind of tucking it away somewhere that someone actually has to go look for it for them to see all your playlists um, as opposed to you visit someone's channel who doesn't know how to rearrange their channel videos and whatnot and all you see is playlists and you're like Oof, does this person upload anything other than playlists which i've had that situation as far as i've experienced that with a couple of people with a couple of people's channels it's like you need to kind of learn how to i guess dress yourself up in a way so that you know you can look presentable i think that's what some people fear or have um an issue with with live streaming i won't lie i've seen some big big youtubers who have started live streaming because they see the um they see the benefits of it the less stresses stress are the less stressor that it may have and yeah um pay me you have to demo how to organize the channel you're right i might actually i will do that i'm gonna put let me write that down i, I left my notepad in front of me here just in case i need it and i do so i'm gonna put i always have my notepad out to write things down i have an ugly handwriting but all good so how to dress up your channel is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> my pen isn't working. Boom. Where's my pen? Okay, another pen right here. How to organize your channel. That's a good one. Thank you. See? Live streaming didn't go in vain after all. I got an idea of a video to do, even though I was feeling all empty. <laughs> More natural, I'm Nigerian, but um, I moved to America when I was 11-ish, around that age. And I've never been back, but I will be traveling back in a couple of years. Um, I moved to uh, Chicago, South Side, South Side of Chicago, raised I was raised there until about college years and then moved out um, to the suburbs. So yes, my nationality is Nigerian. I speak Yoruba, which is my language, and um, I speak English. That's it. Um, surely I have went to some channels and that was all I see is the LS and looks messy and no videos. Yes, it just makes your channel look so... Uh, you know, like uh, <laughs> I probably should stop making that face facial expression. And um, you know, to me, presentation is everything. Presentation matters. No matter how much we all say, be yourself, do your thing, blah blah blah. Presentation matters. I think. Um. I got your bell on extra sexy or thanks dear real time. Okay. Oh yeah, you guys are connecting. Awesome. I didn't even say all those connect, connect. Miss Gladys, are you proud of me? I didn't say connect, 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 show banana, give love. <laughs> I actually stuck to topic, kind of. <laughs> yes, and you have guys everyone to the channel and no video yeah i don't like that more natural when you go to someone's channel and they're screaming they're screaming you know how when someone you could tell someone is screaming at you to come and support them what am i supporting what am i supporting there's zero channel i mean zero videos or all i see is black screen from the beginning to the end and it's like three hours of black screen why I'm not shading anything, but like, I don't know. Let me stop talking before they come for me. <laughs> Anyways, we are now at 59 minutes and I really appreciate everyone here. I appreciate all of you all. I really do. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you all so much. And um, yeah, at 60 minutes, I will hand it and we can continue this when I don't ever overanalyze myself again. <laughs> I cannot, um, what's the word? I cannot give you a time and date of the next time, but I will premiere it again. Not premiere, is it premiere? I'll let you guys know ahead of time again before I go on 
you know, my live stream again. And Extra CEO says, aside from the fact that LS can disfigure your channel, I'm scared of spamming words. Yes, you know what? Extra CEO, I'm going to go just a little bit, a minute for you to understand this. You can actually, um, don't be scared of spamming because the reason why I am calm right now is because I'm going to do a video on it, but there is a video that tells you how to get rid of or at least block spammers and haters and all that, okay? And what you can do to prevent that. I don't know if you've been into your settings or channel settings, but if you go to your channel settings in the community section, I believe it's a community section, but settings section, you can actually type in all the negative words that you can think of on your in your life that might cause some spammers to come. Type it in and Anyone that even tries to come to your channel and types that word in would um, automatically get kicked out. Would not even you won't even see the 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 the, um, the words because you've already set it up ahead of time. Just like I've done here, I've done this way before my la um, as soon as my last stream happened, um, I went back to my settings again and added more words of you know that. Google should like kick out and block before it or when it gets typed in. So check that out, okay? Check it out. Or even Google, go to D, D, is it D? No, Nick. I think it's Nick. N I C K, Nick. Nimen, Nimim. I can't pronounce that guy, those guys' last name. But go to their channel and he literally just uploaded another a video today. N I M M I N, I think it's their name. He's kind of bald and wears glasses. He did upload a video about that. And I'm going to do another video similar, almost the same thing. Exactly. What um, D just, I mean, not what Gladys just said, that channel. Go to that guy's channel, one of their channels. One of them just uploaded today. They're both brothers and they're really good with giving good tips. So check that out, Extra Steps. You will not be, you will be as calm as I am right now once you have your settings like that. Anyone that brings hate literally goes into the garbage without you even knowing. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. And Alicia, Alicia hi, I'm sorry I didn't um, say welcome you. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you for coming. But I am ending my live stream now because I have to get up early in the morning and I have to finish my jello fries. I'm going to go warm it up a little bit and then finish eating. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Miss Gladys. God bless you so much. I love you so much. Thank you, uh, Monique Sika. Thank you, Glory Family Love. Thank you, Extra Step CEO. Thank you, Miss um, Shirley Ann. Mwah. God bless you. Miss Mo Natural. Mwah. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I thank you to anyone else that I may have missed. I hope I didn't miss anyone else. Mr. Henry, thank you. Miriam Patty, thank you for coming to my live stream. And I hope to see every single one of you again soon. And we keep going and keep growing. You guys rock. God bless. Bye-bye.